Okay. This is a World Service passport made in the 10 mile square of the District of Columbia, which is five miles of Virginia land and five miles of Maryland, where the U.S. passports are made. This is a World Service Authority giving all Hawaiians with this passport a non-corpus delecti, which just means we're not dead, under the 1935 Social Security Act and the 1940 Foreign Alien Registration Act, which is against the state of emergency and bankruptcy under Title Code 12, Chapter 2, Section 95, 95A and B, H.R. 1491, S.R. 93-549, and H.J.R. 192 of, of June 5, 1933, which means the United States of America that has no jurisdiction over the Kingdom of Hawaii is charging us for taxes under the 16th Amendment that was never ratified. Amazing! And charging us taxes because what? We are not dead. We're not a corpus delicti. If you once noticed, this is upper and lower case, where all U.S. passports are dead people under the corpus delicti of the securitization of the U.S. citizens. But because of that wonderful Article 6, Section 2, treaties are law of the land, they have no treaty. So we are under the World Service Authority and the territory of Hawaii being occupied illegally under the state which only exists in the 10 mile square because there are no islands under section 2 of the 1959 August 21st Admissions Act. They forgot to put meets and bounds because King Kamehameha III did that in 1940 and claimed all our islands under meets and bounds. So once again, this is giving our citizens of the Kingdom of Hawaii the non-jurisdiction of not being dead. And the, nui nui. Yes, and the and the Americans are only concerned with their meat and potatoes. <laughs> meat and potatoes. <laughs> anyway, to make a long story short. The Queen Lilio Kalani went back in 1897 on June 17th, and the evidence, which I don't have on me right now, oh, you do, you have the Red Ribbon document. The Red Ribbon document of 1897, of June 17th, that she submitted with the Kuwait petition, this Red Ribbon document, this Red Ribbon document is the evidence that Queen Lilio Kalani took back all our land right here on June 17th, 1897. So this proves there was no legal transfer of any kingdom land to the United States, which null and voids any abstract titles, any mortgages, any titles, liens of title companies, and any real estate companies, because our land is in total perpetuity under the 1855 probate will of King Kamehameha III. I love it. Wow. We all love Keeley. This is Queen Keeley, for those of you that don't know. This is Queen Keeley. No, no, I'm Simple Keeley Kima. Yeah, Simple Keeley Kima, just like our queen was simple too. They're both one and the same. Okay? She's my cousin. Oh, wow. <laughs> Anyway, this is just to set the, the record straight that Queen Lilio Kalani bravely took back everything January 17th and received by the Secretary of State June 18th, 1897. And this shows that we have jurisdiction. This supersedes all U.S. law in the de facto state of the, of the state of Hawaii, which does not exist. Because why? We are under Supreme Court law of 1904, Chief Justice Oliver Wendell Holmes made a dissenting decision under Damien Fishponds versus Hawaii that because there was no treaty of session, therefore there is no treaty, therefore the rights and privileges and, and the Kingdom of Hawaii was never extinguished. And there are four other successive cases under Washington, D.C. Supreme Court law. And Supreme Court Justice Oliver Wendell Holmes is still known for his dissenting decision in 1919 used today on First Amendment rights. Mahalo nui Oh, mahalo.